Welcome to Rider's Range. A, uh, a viewer commented on my Taurus G3C video that his uh, G3C wouldn't reliably feed hollow point ammunition from a full magazine. Um, we're going to have to try it. I've got a variety of hollow points out here and uh, we're just going to run a quick one to see what it feeds, what it doesn't feed. So stick around. <laughs> All right, full magazine of Federal HST 124 grain, Taurus G3C, and magazine in, and it did not want to chamber the first one, and that is using the slide stop lever. Let's try that again. Here we go. That time it did. Let's see if it'll fire them. All right, still got one in here. Safety back on. All right, next up from a full magazine, I've got an old, I dug through the old uh, hollow point, actually the old ammunition bin. This is an old Smith & Wesson polymer coated hollow point. And uh, this magazine is filled all 12 rounds. First one's gonna be a, that Smith & Wesson. And let's see how it works. Now the first round that goes off is the second one of the HSTs then the Smith if it feeds. It fed. Okay, the next one up is going to be there's just a Winchester miscellaneous hollow point. And again, there's still 11 rounds left in this magazine. So let's see how this one works. Okay, it fed that one. Let's load a couple more in here. Next one's up will be uh, old Winchester silver tips. I'm going to put two of those in. All right, magazine is now full, 12 rounds in there. Winchester silver tips. So, all right, fed both silver tips. Oops, didn't fire the second one, did I? All right, let's try the silver tip from a slide lock. Again, Winchester Western Silver Tip. Fed it. All right, two Federal Hydro Shocks in a full magazine. So, Winchester Western Silver Tip's in there right now. It fed fine. Hydro Shock fed fine. So, we got a Hydro Shock in there right now. Full magazine, two Remington Golden Sabres on top. Okay, it ran the Hydroshock, fed both Golden Sabres. Hornady Critical Defense, 134-135 grain. We'll stick these on top. All right, so we have a uh, Golden Sabre in there right now and two Hornady Critical Defense following it. All right, ran those. Last up is two rounds of Federal Punch. This is the uh, their newer defense ammunition. So again, we're stuffing those on top of 10 other rounds in this magazine, so it's a full mag. Federal Punch hollow points. Again, 12 rounds in the mag total. And there's a Hornady Critical Defense in there right now. It fed the first punch, the second punch, and I'm going to put my carry magazine back in that has the uh, Federal HST 124 grain. And there goes with the punch. And it fed the HST. All right, except for that one round uh, that I put in initially from um, a slide lock back with a full mag of that first Federal, it ran everything just fine after that. So. Um, I'd say if the gun is not running your hollow points, send it back to Taurus. Uh, this one runs them just fine. Doesn't necessarily take the first one out of the mag, but the first one is not so much the critical issue unless it's a reload issue. Now that could be a whole different ball game. But you can see this fed a whole bunch of different hollow points and worked just fine. 
All right, so we know they function uh, when it's the next round up in the magazine, um, even if it's a, a full mag. But how does it function if you end up uh, in slide lock and you have to uh, put in a fresh mag, the slides lock back, will it then chamber? Got a pocket full of miscellaneous again uh, and a full mag. There are 11 rounds in this magazine right now. We're going to top it off with 12, uh, seven or eight different kinds of hollow points. We're going to see how they work. So first one up is a Remington Golden, uh, Golden Saber, 147 grain. And we're going to go to slide lock. And we're going to face down range. I'm not going to shoot it, but we're going to face down range and insert the magazine and run the slide home. Okay, it chambered the Golden Saber. All right, next up is Winchester Western Silver Tip. Haven't seen these around in a long time, but I still have some, so we're going to give it a try. Top off the magazine, that'll be the 12th round in the mag. Magazine in, down range, slide lock, it goes in. Next up is an old Federal uh, hollow point soft nose, uh, or soft nose hollow point, whichever way you want to say it. They don't even make these anymore. But let's uh, see if this will work. Again, we'll top off the magazine. So there's 12 rounds total in there. That old uh, round is in the top. Magazine in. Chambered. Next up is a Federal. Uh, this is the uh, Winchester, uh, excuse me, the Federal HST 124 grain. It's what I normally carry, either that or the Remington Golden Sabre 147, depending on the gun. Magazine topped off. Inserted, guns at slide lock, chambered, no problem. Uh, what do we have in the pocket? Next up is um, the Federal Punch. This is really like the uh, HST, but it's labeled as 124 grain punch. And probably a different powder charge. I don't know exactly. I need to run them over the chronograph. All right, punch is in the top of the magazine, 12 rounds total in the magazine. Inserted, down range chambered. Since it's the same shape as the HST, I certainly expected that would be the case. And what do we have left in here? Three rounds left in the pocket. This one is a Hornady. It's not the critical duty or, or critical defense. Um, there's no plug in the end. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Came out of the miscellaneous ammo bin. Topped off the magazine. Inserted, safely downrange, chambered, no problem. I have a Hornady Critical Duty, and I have a Federal Hydroshock. We're going to save the Hydroshock for last. We're going to put in the Critical Duty. Magazine topped off. Magazine inserted, gun downrange, chambered, no problem. All right, now that was a little tight coming out. And I've noticed there's a very, very short lead on the uh, chamber on this gun. Uh, some of my hand loads with uh, Montana Gold 124 grain hollow point bullets won't uh, pass the plunk test where you uh, drop around down in the uh, the chamber and it's hitting the, um, the lands in the rifling before the uh, case mouth actually uh, ends up in the end of the chamber. So uh, some rounds will work. This one worked barely. So it depends entirely on the shape of the bullet. All right, we got one left. This is the Federal Hydroshock. Same basic bullet shape as the uh, HST and the uh, and the punch. Magazine's topped off. Slides locked back. Magazine in. Gun pointed safely down range, and it chambers also. So what do we get from all of that? Um, that the uh, uh, the one concern. Uh, of not being able to chamber rounds from a, a full magazine. Um, and again, the, uh, the comment didn't say whether that was uh, from a slide lock or just shooting, uh, he said, but he said that uh, uh, once he gets down to nine rounds left of the magazine, it generally works okay, but uh, when it's a full mag or uh, 10 or 11 in there, it, it doesn't. Well, um, we've just shown that this particular G3C, which by the way is still empty, uh, does work quite well. Uh, whether it's shooting or whether it's uh, putting in a fresh mag uh, full up to the top with the eight different hollow points and running it in from slide lock, this one works. So 
Um, what does that show? It only shows that this gun works with these rounds. It doesn't show that every gun will work with every round. If you like these videos in general, uh, if you like to see Rider's Range videos keep coming, by all means like, share, subscribe, uh, click on the notifications button, um, anything to help us grow the channel. We certainly do appreciate it and we appreciate you stopping by for this quick demonstration out here on Rider's Range.